We are celebrating Western New York tonight with a story about family. In most families, love has no bounds, but as Two in Your Side's Daniel Church shows us, not only does a Perry family live that every day, they continue it generation after generation. DNA may be what biologically connects people with one another, but it's certainly not the only thing which defines a family. We're family because of the love that we share, not because of a common biology. Just take David Mueller's family, for example. Adoption became a part of our family really with my adoptive father. He was adopted, and then my sister and I were adopted uh, when we were infants. Both he and his sister, Nancy Cameron, are not biologically related. And though they were adopted, their parents were always honest with them about it. The adoptive narrative my mom and dad had with my sister and I was that we were chosen, we were special. That is how I perceived it from the point I could understand anything. The two still carry that important message with them. It's why adoptions in the Mueller family don't stop with David and Nancy. David and his wife Heidi had six boys and then fostered and adopted two girls. The first was Anna and the second was Kaya, who they almost didn't have. Kaya left the Mueller's as a child to go back to her biological family. She eventually was back in foster care, but became a part of the Mueller family at 21 after bumping into David and Heidi at a sub shop in Geneseo. These kids, when, you're with, when they're with you, the love that you feel for them just doesn't go away. Nancy and her husband Kirk can relate to that. They also adopted four kids before having two of their own. I just grew up with so much love and gratitude for my life and for my family. I just had this passion for adopting myself and I'm so blessed that Kirk shared that with me. Now her 20 year old son Luke is even starting a nonprofit out in California to help people with both the cost and process of adoption. Nancy and David say some of their kids are even talking about adopting now that they're adults, and they hope others are inspired to do the same. The concept that you didn't give birth to that child will vanish from your consciousness the moment you pick up that child. Three generations and counting. Adoption is at the core of this family. But woven throughout each person's DNA, whether similar or different, is love. What truly makes them a family. Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.